What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and we have qualified for the playoffs. We have clinched. We are 11 and 4 here in season number two. We've had a couple of really interesting games of late that we've managed to uh, actually pull out the win in and this one might be our toughest test especially considering we might be resting some of our starters. I will like to update you guys on some of the news stories. Nothing that major except for the draft which is of course a defensive player wins the Heisman every year in Madden. So Bill Barner was awarded the Heisman Trophy today. The Florida A&M Strong Safety becomes one of only a handful of defensive players to win college football's most prestigious award. And also, it was a showcase for Tim McDaniels this week as he kept Tyrone Rowland from having any impact at all in the victory for USC. Those are some draft names to potentially keep an eye on. Now, I don't think we necessarily need to target the safety position but Bill Barner is a player I've looked at. He seems to be pretty decent. I have, uh, was McDaniels one of the other names? He may have been. I think he may have been. And Roland, I guess, would have been a receiver. Tyrone Roland from Georgetown. USC versus Georgetown, really. All right. The receiver class is fairly underwhelming. I know there's a position a lot of people uh, want me to target. Not a whole lot of uh, good receivers in this class. So, um... Our offensive coordinator wants us to rest Kenny Stills. So we'll rest Kenny Stills. Why not? We've got some good receivers. Get Preston Williams some more playing time. And um, the fewer downs Kenny Stills plays this week, the more stamina he'll have for the playoffs. However, more downs played will increase his morale. Stamina? Like, kind of who cares? What should we do about Kenny Stills then? That puts us in an interesting spot. We're in a weird morale situation. We want his morale higher. Stamina is fairly irrelevant. I guess we'll move him under Preston Williams. So he'll be our, our three. All right. So he'll rest up a little bit, but he'll get still some playing time. I don't really know. Um, we do have some upgrade points, though, or at least we should. Last episode was a, a whole lot of fun. Raekwon McMillan is definitely someone with some morale. He's playing plus three to an 83. And we'll upgrade Run Stopper. That gets him up now to an 84, but truly it's just an 81 overall. Uh, zone coverage goes up by two, I think is the most... A noteworthy one there, 71 zone coverage. Of course, Tyus Bowser is down for five weeks, if you saw the end of uh, one of the last episodes. And I do want to mention something. So, this is actually not the worst thing in the world, because even though our starting defensive ends in this 4-3 are terrible, as far as our specialist goes, we've actually got a decent pass rush. Tyrone Holmes, we've, we've seen before, he's gotten some action. 80 finesse moves is not bad. He's very, very fast off the edge. Good tackle as well. Not a bad player at all. And the rookie, Raheem Scroggins out of Fresno State, actually has 79 power moves. Decent enough speed, hit power, tackle, pursuit. He's not an awful player. So even though maybe he's not a great every down defensive end, he's not an awful player and he will be um, our rush right end. So he'll be on the field quite a bit. Kalen Balaj, of course, isn't going to play over Gus Edwards. And uh, we'll use some of our upgrade points before we get into week 17. This is, could be a, like a playoff preview. I'm not really sure how good this team is and how capable we are of making a deep playoff run. We've been playing really, really well as of late. And I think if I don't make a ton of mistakes, we're going to be in a good spot. But uh, you never know. Um, let's go ahead and do power on Zane Heron, the rookie left tackle who's phenomenal for us. Plus two run block could be fairly significant. I know it's quite low for him right now, but that goes up to a 77. Um, we like him. He's a good player. Titus Avant obviously is a great player for us so far. He's up to a 74 overall with morale. He's been a, just a beast this year, and I do want to continue to work on his own coverage. He goes up to a 75 overall, and he gets a boost to awareness plus two and zone by plus one. The rest don't really matter outside of Kalen Balaj. I'm going to continue to go into power back. I want to really, really focus on his trucking and break tackle. We still don't get trucking, but carrying goes up by one. He fumbled twice, and I believe it was last episode or last week. And um, what else did he get? Carrying and break tackle, maybe? I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and uh, upgrade the rest via the CPU and get into this matchup. Again, could be a playoff preview against the 78 overall Kansas City Chiefs led by none other than Patrick Mahomes. We are wearing uh, the, like the 2010s or 2000s throwback alternates and they look terrible. It is so dark. 
in Hard Rock right now. There's very limited lighting. The Chiefs uniforms, I mean, they're in the AFL away throwbacks, look pretty bad in general. These are just terrible, terrible uniforms. Oh my goodness. That might be the worst I've ever seen. And look at the speed. Oh my goodness. Who is that? Kenyon Drake? Is that who that was? It may have been. I don't even remember where we traded him. Kenyon Drake returns. He is. He's wearing number 29. Kenyon Drake. Do we trade for a pick? I don't remember what the move was explicitly. But it looks like the Chiefs are content with running the ball a lot here as Chris Thompson goes down. Looks like he's grasping his right wrist. We might be seeing a whole lot of Kalen Balaj. Nope, he's our running back. We might be seeing a whole lot of Kenyon Drake. We're looking to fill gaps, and I'd be shocked if they didn't run the ball here, and they do. Right at me. Minka stops him, but did Kenyon Drake pick up the first down? They're going to give it to him. Like, did the lights turn off on this game? Like, I'm, I'm so confused why it's so dark. As they check down, Jerome Baker's there. Also, a change I have made, and instead of Raekwon McMillan, instead of Raekwon McMillan, I have made DeAndre Hubbard our sub-linebacker. So he and Jerome Baker are two main linebackers now, and Raekwon is going to be the third guy that plays uh, in the 4-3 and whatnot, as that is right at DeAndre Hubbard. But that falls incomplete. Looks like Sammy Watkins was the intended receiver on the play, and the Chiefs, who were very run-heavy to start things off, will settle for a punt. No points on the board. That looks like it could be a pretty good punt, though. Yeah, it is. Pinning us at the one. We get pinned fairly often. And here's, here's my goal for this game. Make as few mistakes as possible. Now, I, I just pu uh, published uh, episode 31 of Dolphins Franchise. You're like, oh, man, Bengal, you suck. And it's, it is true, as Jakeem Grant has some wheels. Oh, my goodness, Jakeem Grant. We might be able to go all the way. He's getting chased. One guy misses on the die. Tyre Matthew in pursuit. Jakeem Grant, 99-yard record-tying touchdown rush. Jakeem Grant, ladies and gentlemen. But as I was saying, people are saying, oh, Bengal, you suck, blah, 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 blah. And you know what? While it's true, I'm out to prove the haters wrong. Jakeem Grant starts us off with a huge play. 99 yards to the house. We got Kelsey in motion. I'm going to be interested to see what Hubbard can do in a one-on-one -on -one situation as Kenyon Drake is showcasing some real speed. That's what we miss, really, with him in the backfield is, is someone with a lot of speed that doesn't fumble as consistently as Jakeem Grant has this year. But then again, Jakeem Grant, who replaced Kenyon Drake, just rushed for 99 yards on one play as that is some type of option that is shut down completely by Tyrone Holmes. I'd like to see him back on the field. He's been a player who's been good for us. Nate Orchard, not so much. But Raheem Scroggins pretty much getting the start today. So it's going to be interesting to see him. As that is a user pick. Easy reads. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. It's DeAndre Hubbard doing some graphic moves there. Somebody get a sensor bar on that. Good Lord. Third and ten. Oh, man, that was undercut by the corner really, really well. He played that route unbelievably tight. And Gesicki was the only guy I looked at. So something else could have been open. I'm sh sure they always are. Uh, I did not see it. Here's Hawk on a kick. And that punt uh, was not great to the 21. I still don't really get how the sky kicks work as a whole. I don't really know the distance on him yet. So I might opt to use those a little bit, uh, even less frequently than I already do, as that is wide open over the middle. That is the big tight end, Travis Kelsey. It's another run up the middle, man. They've been running so hard on this defense. It's going to be third in inches. We might just come out in like straight four, three, and try to shut this down. because our, And they come out in empty. Our current personnel really has not shut down the run too well at all, as that is to the flat, and Xavier Howard can't wrap up Travis Kelsey, but Rayquan McMillan is there. They do pick up the first down, though. And you had Patrick Mahomes, and you run the ball every single play. That's play action. That's a big hit by Avant, too, but we might have a uh, roughing the passer situation or something. It actually is going to be an illegal man downfield by Eric Fisher. 
Second and six or third and one is kind of a weird spot. I think we're going to opt for second and six. And uh, I think it's probably the right move. We're shadowing, shadowing. They're going underneath, and Titus Avant says no to the first down. That was Ryan Switzer making the catch. And this is somewhat of a longer field goal. I'm not sure if there's any wind at all. That net is shaking a bit, but this is not too tough of a field goal. However, it does end up sneaking back in. Looked like it was going wide left at first, but the kick is up and good. Harrison Butker nails it through. Here's a run back to Jakeem Grant. We're going to juke back inside. Can't pick up the first, though. Maybe gain one or two. <laughs> two rushes, 101 yards, and a touchdown. Jakeem Grant staying in the game as our primary running back here. We're, uh, we're setting up with a lot of, like, speed back style runs. So Jakeem Grant is coming in handy. That is a very nice juke. Didn't really pick up a whole ton of yards after the move. Can we get that to him? We can. Jakeem Grant, stay in bounds, man. Look at the speed. And Jakeem Grant on second and 17 picks up the first down. That speed is lethal. There we go. Mike Kosicki, a lot of room to run after this. Showcases the power, but he's dragged down anyway. Ross, go. Give me a block back. Okay. Blocked the wrong guy there, Devontae Parker, but we'll take the seven-yard scramble to bring up a very, very nice third and two. Kalen Balazs checks into the game. I think we're going to get him a touch here as we are looking to enter the red zone. And Kalen Balazs may be just short of the first down marker. Going to bring up fourth and one from the 33, but instead of opting for the long field goal, we're going to go for this. Let's see what we're capable of doing on fourth and one. Jakeem Grant in man coverage. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Easy first down. Good block. Look at Jakeem Grant juking back and getting the first down. He's having quite a game. That speed has been really incredible. Second and 10. I wanted Gesicki. We got the wheel, though. Kalen Balaj is out of the back of the end zone. Are we serious here? Is that worth a challenge? Have we really challenged something like that before? We'll take another look at it as this is essentially calling upstairs and checking out, seeing if Kalen Balaj indeed was out of bounds. And that is uh, only the left foot dragged. Right one was out. That looks like a quick blitz. Might be a quick hitter for Devontae Parker as the right move. Inside, and that is a touchdown. Devontae Parker managed to just squeeze that in front of the safety. And we are on the board 14-3 with our second touchdown of the game. Gotta love it. How did they get that screen away? What was going on on that one? That was the weirdest play I've ever seen. Third and 14. Kansas City has done nothing today. And that is throwing at me. That's an easy read. User pick. Green eggs and ham. Easy reads. Keep throwing right at me. I will take it away whenever the game lets me. I would say every time, but it's not. Yo, Gesicki, release. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I'm waiting for him to release. I hit X. I guess that was the release button. Didn't release. Take another sack, or second of the game. Third and 17. I want Devontae, Devontae Parker on a quick streak if he gets open. And I think we have him inside. Devontae, hold on. Great catch. And we have entered the red zone as we are threatening to score yet again. Can we get that in there? Mike Kosicki, big catch. Oh, he dropped it? How? What in the world? I thought we maybe would have had a touchdown there. And I just rolled out into a sack. I was waiting on Gesicki or Grant, and then I didn't want to check down, and Gesicki never really got open. That route never developed because I rolled out into a sack. Uh, we'll take the field goal, though. I don't think I've played terrible this game, but I haven't been as good as I would have liked to be. I've rolled out into three sacks. You know, little by little, I'm going to get better. I know everyone's frustrated with the same mistakes and all that. I just... This is not my game. I only play when I record. I'm sorry. They've been so effective with running the football. Here's the thing is like, uh, watch a Chiefs game. They throw the ball a lot and they're just a run heavy team at the moment. And that is, looked like that might've been an RPO. Did not work out well at all. 
up the middle. I don't know how Kenyon Drake gets past DeAndre Hubbard, but he picked up the first pretty easily, I think. Unless, really, they didn't give him forward progress? I thought he came way past the first down line. I know we had the in coming across the middle, but we've also got Preston Williams on a bomb. Touchdown, Dolphins. Preston Williams burned on the fade. Great pass from the boss, Lawrence Ross. And we have another touchdown. Look at the beautiful touch pass down the sideline. Lobbed it right in there over Cordrea Tankersley, former Miami Dolphin. We've seen that before. 24-3 Miami. Give him again in the playoffs. I'm down. It's a 77-yard touchdown. Another RPO. You better be all over that, Xavier. Shut that thing down. Uh, this offense is disgusting to look at. QB accuracy is, is up a lot, but they're just not throwing the ball downfield. It's only screens, and it's only RPOs, which can be screens, and it, a lot of runs. This offense is not the Kansas City Chiefs offense. I see why they do so poorly in sim all the time. This playbook is just, and whatever this strategy is, they're just run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, call RPOs. And uh, it's really bad. And that's taking a one-on-one -on -one shot. That's lucky. Travis Kelsey goes up and snags one. We're going to blitz the hell out of Mahomes on this one. Then <laughs> down he goes. That is Romeo Aquara. Oh, huge hit by Minka. But Travis Kelsey once again holds on. He's been a very, very tough player to deal with so far. Has four catches in the first half, having a very, very good game. 62 yards. Hasn't gotten the end zone just yet. Oh, and that's thrown right at me. And he breaks another hit stick. Catches another pass. Kansas City calls another timeout. So their timeout logic has been fixed, obviously. Because uh, we've seen at the end of the half, they've been terrible. And they're going to settle for a field goal. It was 16 seconds. It's kind of weird. I think maybe they take an end zone shot or something. But they kick the field goal. We'll have 12 seconds to do something, which means we're probably just going to run the ball and, and see if that sets up anything. Lawrence Ross in the zone, by the way, but this will be the final play of the first half, probably. Do we try and take a shot? Like, fake like we're uh, running the clock out? Those linebackers kind of pause. I see Preston Williams, but I don't really like it. I do like that option, though. That is for Devontae Parker, and it is uh, way overthrown. I'm cool with taking a shot, though, to end the half. That's to one uh, Thornhill. It's annoying to add the interception to the stat sheet when we played so well, but I want the touchdown in that spot if we can get to it. It was just way overthrown. <laughs> Jakeem Grant up the middle. That is a very, very nice run. That picks up the first down. He's been electric so far. We have a chance to break 200 with him. Look at the speed from Jakeem Grant. The juke back, and Jakeem Grant is electric. Another pickup of 10. Here's play action. Do we have Grisicki? I think we can get it to him, and we can. Threading the needle excellently, Lawrence Ross drops it right to Grisicki. Surprised we even got that throw off, honestly. Oh, look at Kenny Stills wide open. Tried to stay in bounds, but we'll get the first anyway. Let's play action. Linebackers bit. We'll take that. Nick O'Leary, touchdown! Way to go up and get it. And we are crushing it this game. This offense is moving. I'm finally scoring points. And maybe it's because I'm playing smarter, really thinking about what I'm doing, trying to survey the field, getting the good run-pass mix in there. Defense has been excellent. I need the the CPU offense to get moving a little bit more to make these games a little bit more entertaining and exciting and stuff like that. So, And I have the run block for the CPU up high, so maybe that's why they're running the ball as consistently as they have been. So maybe we'll we'll mess around with that. I know everyone's slider change. Man. Everyone loves to complain in the comments. I love it. And by love it, I mean you annoy me. <laughs> RPO. RP no. <laughs> Throw at me. They're going one on one. And that is knocked away. The Chiefs continue to flutter on offense. Falter, I might say. Their offense has not been good. After the punt backed up a little bit, 
I would really love 68 there. Who is that? Our right guard? I'd love him to actually try and block somebody. Just somebody. So I can, you know, follow the blocks. But we're trying to create them ourselves and not really working out too well. Gasicki again. Can we get that in there? Oh my lord, Mike Gasicki. Our receivers are not dropping anything today. Can we get that in there? Nick O'Leary. Dude, we are literally not dropping anything. I haven't changed the wide receiver catching at all, but they're just not dropping the ball. And it doesn't matter what I do. They're just holding on. And I am in. Third and 10. Now from the 22, Gasicki. I mean, that's just easy. He doesn't have the speed to get in the end zone. Wasn't a great lead either. But a uh, very big catch nonetheless. And he goes over 1,000 receiving yards on the season. Gasicki, touchdown. He does end up finding the end zone, even after he couldn't on that big catch on third down. But that is uh, another score as we push towards a blowout, 38 to six. Don't throw, it, it really didn't give me an animation on that and that is frustrating. I know we're up 38 to six. That's my third interception of the game. Uh, now Travis Kelsey's in the zone, whatever that means for him. Uh, I lurked that perfectly and was, again, per usual, might I add, not rewarded. He's like, per usual, maybe you have two picks this game. I also have two of those animations where I didn't get any. It's another run for Drake, who's done nothing today. It's a big first down. Um, I don't really know what to cover there on, on both those slants. And I decided to cover nothing, I think. Minka is manned up on in the zone, Travis Kelsey. What that means for our squad, we will find out. It's another run, though. You know what they say, when you're down by 32 and going into the fourth, run the ball into the ground. Travis Kelsey looks pretty quick on that. I don't know what that route was. Kendall Fuller followed it pretty well. And that's probably not the third down read you want to make. Down by 32. Is that what I said? I think it is. Field goal is good, though. Now it's only 38 to 9. Oh, Jakeem Grant's got speed. I mean, this is a no-brainer. In the open field, he makes a tackle. Tyra Matthews just probably saved a would-be touchdown or would have been at least close. Play action. We have all sorts of time. Please block. I tried to get rid of it. Um, it's Derek Nottie. Did not get the third down, so that means we will punt. Oh, he didn't convert, I should say. Did not get the third down is kind of a weird sentence. Uh, but that looks like it's going to be a half-decent punt. And it is. Pinning them at the three. Great work, me. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Kelsey in motion. And that is going to be a safety. This offense has been disgusting. Good play by DeAndre Hubbard, nonetheless. Look at Kalen Bellage, man. Weaving in and out of danger. Picking up a lot of yards there. Yeah, the offense has been really grooving today. Third and two. I kind of want to streak Kasiki. Just because I think we can win that matchup. But that's wide open. We're just hitting Nick O'Leary on a quick hitter. Oh, that's open. Please catch it. Devontae Parker. Touchdown. Too easy. He beats press. We beat the Chiefs. What is happening here? Oh, free throws. <laughs> There's a Chiefs guy who couldn't even get out of the uh, out of the paint, I guess you'd say. 47 to 9. Dolphins. This offense has been something else today. Over the middle, really? Wow. All right. Mahomes probably having his worst ever game, by the way. I think that's worth noting. I know our defense is really good, to be fair, apart from our two defensive ends. But it's, jeez. Keep getting beat on the run, though. Oh, Kendall Fuller almost grabbed a pick. Ball was sitting on his back, but no one came around to grab it. 
It's an odd decision to run the ball, but it's fairly effective, I guess. Uh, Barber picks up five or so. It's another run. That's a broken tackle. Hubbard came back to wrap up, but Thompson takes it down to the one. Then they might end up getting in the end zone. To run up the middle. Uh, no one broke uh, a block at all. No one shed. Kenyon Drake scores a touchdown against his former team in his return to Miami. The headlines write themselves. Here's my headline. The Chiefs got absolutely destroyed. That's my headline. Rolling out. Somebody get open. Can we lead that on Gasicki? No. Oh, whenever those get like, you know, floated up into the air, I always get super nervous. We have five passing touchdowns out today. That is a uh, tremendous. How did Preston Williams catch that? Kind of a blind read. Just th was gonna throw it anyway. And um, dude, we've been catching so many contested passes today. Kind of insane, actually. Balage did not get it. His struggles continue. This game, at least. But, I mean, it's over. It's a broken tackle. And I ran past it with Minka. That's going to be a touchdown. Oh, jeez. It won't end up mattering. That's your show, the broken tackle. It's me, Cole Hardman, here in his second season now. So, Jakeem Grant was just absolutely gassed. Did not play another snap, so he's going to come up short of the 200-yard mark, unfortunately. Uh, he was real close, though. And we destroyed the Chiefs. Now, we're going to be changing sliders to some extent. I need the CPU offense to be able to produce a lot more than what they're doing. So, we're going to figure out some different settings and, and see what we're going to do. Uh, but yeah, we caught a lot of passes today. It was kind of weird because just sliders were not changed. Nothing really changed. Just they caught the passes. Lawrence Ross was incredible. 20 for 31, five touchdowns. Only interception was a long, long bomb to end the first half. 344 passing yards. Rushing, Jakeem Grant ended with 195. And a touchdown. Hands off uh, for Kalen Balaj. 4.8. He did all right. Preston Williams even got that screen pass. Gus Edwards had a carry. Lawrence Ross with a scramble. Receiving Gasicki six catches for 101 and a TD. Preston Williams, four catches, 96 yards and a touchdown. Nick O'Leary with a touchdown. Devontae Parker with two touchdowns on his three catches. Defensively, Mick had 12 tackles. Two for loss for Raekwon and DeAndre Hubbard. Five or .5 sacks, half a sack for Romeo Aquara and DeAndre Hubbard. Two picks for DeAndre Hubbard. Um, and a forced fumble for nobody. We don't force any anymore. And no defensive touchdowns, of course. All right, so the offensive coordinator kind of mad we played Kenny Stills as much, but he's got a morale boost now, so I don't really care so much about stamina. But in the next week, we'll be playing maybe in the wild card. We finished 12 and 4. 12 and 4. Unbelievable year here in, uh, in year number two. And uh, we finished with 31st offense and the third defense, of course. Both should not be so high, um, but we play only nine-minute quarters. Now up to 11, of course. Standings, we finished with the fourth best record in the NFL, which means that we will not have to take part in the wild card. We will be advancing straight to the divisional. That's going to be in the next episode. I am very, very excited to get down into the nitty-gritty in that. Sliders will be changed to update you guys when we actually play that game. So... Look forward to your divisional round matchup against the 8-7-1 Houston Texans. I will see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.